Suppose a sample of students reveal how much they paid for their freshman year of courses. At the .05 significance level, does the data indicate that the mean cost at straighter line is different from the mean cost of other institutions? Here's our sample data. We have straighter line costs and some other institutions. And this will be a hypothesis test comparing two means, two independent population means. And it's independent because these are two different groups of people. Dependent means would be those where, for an example, you test a, a group of students uh, before a class and then after instruction you test them again and, and see how much they've learned. That would be dependent because you're testing the same group of people or subjects. Now, we have our null and alternative hypotheses and in our null hypothesis we're comparing these two means mu sub s for straighter line is equal to mu sub o for the others and the alternative hypothesis is mu sub s is not equal to mu sub o. And sometimes our brain wants to put things in order, one thing is less than the other, but we have to answer specifically what is being asked in this question. And that is, can we say it's different from? So we're not, the, the question doesn't say anything about less than or greater than, so we just say different from and that is strictly not equal to. So in words, we could write the alternative hypothesis as the uh, mean costs are different. Okay, after we have our hypotheses, the next step is to find the p-value. And the p-value can be found uh, with some formulas and tables, and they it can also be found in Excel. And Excel actually has a very nice uh, quick function or feature to it that actually works with uh, comparing two independent means. So I'm using Excel from Office XP, so if you have the older version, I want you to know that these features are there. If you have a newer version, of course, these features are there. The Tools button might be in a slightly different spot, and the Add-ins button uh, might, might be there with the Tools or um, look a little bit different. But here's what we're going to do. We have the Tools and then Add-ins. Make sure you have those Analysis Tool Packs. OK. And then Tools Data Analysis. Data Analysis, then we've got all these different tools. We're going to choose from these lists of hypothesis testing. Uh, we're going to do a t-test to sample assuming unequal variances, meaning we, we are, we're not sure, in fact it's probably not the case, that these two um, data sets have the same variances. So, so we're going to use this to sample assuming unequal variances. The paired sample is where they're dependent, like I talked about with the um, testing one group and then having them go through a class and then testing the same group again. Okay, so here we are, two sample assuming unequal variances. Okay, choose our, our input. I've decided to include the labels in this one, so I chose uh, the first set of data and then for variable two range, choose the second set of data that you have. By the way, if you have independent uh, populations, the sample sizes don't have to be the same size. I, they are here, but, but they don't have to be. Hypothesized mean difference. Most of the time you do this uh, testing the uh, two means, it will be zero. So we're saying, is the, uh, the mean of one equal to the other? That means that there is no difference, okay? Or there is a difference with the alternative. So that's going to be zero. Labels, I have that checked because we do have labels. This time I decided to choose those labels. Alpha is this 0 0.05, so uh, you can put that in there. Output range, this is just where do you want the data to start being displayed. You can put it in a new worksheet if you want, but I don't want to do that here. I want to put it right, uh, right in this, start in this cell, and then it'll, it'll go down from there. So I'm going to hit OK. And we get a bunch of information, t-test to, to sample, assuming unequal variances is the word that's running off of your screen there. And we get the mean of each, the sample means, these are the sample means. 
and then we have to choose. Well, we've got these two uh, p-values. We are going to choose the two-tail, and the reason we're going to choose the two-tail is because we have this not equal to. So we are actually looking for whether or not it's possible for some value to end up in this area or this area. So it's the sum, the sum of those two areas, and that's the two-tail when we do the not equal to. If, on the other hand, we were doing a, a strictly less than or a strictly greater than, then we would choose this one-tail um, p-value. But in this case, we're doing the two-tail. So let's write that down. The p-value equals 0 0.0041 for one, rounding correctly, that is less than the significance level, is less than 0 0.05. And when your p-value is less than the significance level, it's like saying you have less of a chance of making an error than the significance level is saying, well, I'm, I'm okay with this probability of making an error. Um, and and 0 0.0041 is even less of a chance of that. So so I'm okay with rejecting the null. So if the p-value is low, reject the null hypothesis. So that is our decision, to reject the null hypothesis. Our conclusion, in the end, will be evidence suggests that they are different. So, And, and we just have to stay strict to this. Again, um, we don't want to lead the question into into what we see as less or, or greater than, we just say they are different. So evidence suggests that the mean costs are different. And of course you could elaborate that. If you're writing a report, you're going <laughs> to write a little bit more than that. The mean costs uh, freshman year credits and all this stuff. The mean costs are different. Uh, by the way, by the way, if we were to test the alternative hypothesis, if we were making this hypothesis such that mu sub s is less than mu sub o, then absolutely we would choose this one tail and it would be 0 0.002 would be the p-value. And you would go on to reject the null and, and uh, say that evidence suggests the mean cost at straighter line is less than the others. But, uh, but again, we're staying strict to, to what is being asked in this question. And so, so we, we followed that, and we used the two-tail for this example.